Hi, I'm Duke Bossa Nova. And I'm Lola Bossa Nova. And this is Bossa Nova Life. Bringing you atomic era events, people and places. From classic cars to tiki bars. And today, we are at the show and shine for Graffiti Weekend in Roseburg, Oregon. Catherine, where are you from? Grants Pass, Oregon. Did you drive this all the way up? I did. Oh, amazing. So what is it? It is a 1937 Packard business coupe, um, heavily modified with a 360 Mopar engine and about 380 horse under that. That's Good. why you drove it up. You just yes. like going up the hills with that. I liked passing all the cars. <laughs> so did you get it in this condition? Uh, no, it was a rough project car. My dad and I rebuilt it oh, about wow. 13 years. Um, Heavily labor of love. <laughs> I like to hear that. You and your dad worked on it together, huh? Yes. So is it still the original frame? Um, yes, a lot of it had to be refabricated due okay. to rust, but for the most part, it's original body. So. Well, you guys did a gorgeous job Thank on you. it. So how, you said 13 years to get it done, so how long has it been out and about? Um, probably about 15. Wow, that is so. amazing. You you guys did fabulous work. Well, thank you. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay, I can squat oh, down. Okay. Okay. How come nobody ever asked to take my picture? Oh, yep. That work it is. Well, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. And what is your name? Brett Grantham. Where are you from? I'm down from Estacada. Estacada, okay. And what have we got here? It's a 1951 Lincoln Cosmopolitan. <sighs> With the rear suicide doors on it. So did you get it in this condition? I uh, wasn't quite in this condition, but uh, the exterior renovation had already been completed. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a 10-year reno, and they got it all, all of the chrome and all the emblems, everything sourced for it. And when I picked it up, it needed a, a interior pretty desperately. So we did the interior, the new wheels and tires, and then went through and got the engine all fixed up and ready to go. So is this original motor? It's not, unfortunately. Oh, that's okay. What are you running? Uh, it's got This one actually is, uh, for the time being, is on a 318 Chrysler. Okay. And we're sourcing right now a 460 Lincoln that we're going to be dropping into it. Wow. Make it a little more. Not well, quite period, but uh, get back in the How often do you get behind the wheel and drive this thing? They try to do it every weekend, especially <laughs> in the summers. And then, you know, when the rain comes out, we, we tend to put her away. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time you and bet. letting us take a look at this beautiful car. That is a pretty Buick. Wow. You know, you go over there and take a picture of the other one over there and you have a before and after. Yeah, So, so today's entourage has been brought to us by Pinups, Pinups, Pinups. So you can increase that pot a little bit. And then this guy. Also behind me here in the pavilion area, the Sergeant Johnson, Madeira, and Pfizer vaccines. No appointment is necessary. Just head on over to the vaccination tent here in front of the pavilion area, and they'll get you taken care of. Remember, my This may be the prettiest Mercury I've seen in a while, sir. Is that right? <laughs> How long have you had it? Uh, it's been in my wife's family probably for 25 years. 25 years? Wow. Is this all original? Is this original interior? Everything's original. Wow. This is just stunning. I have not done any work on it except tune-ups. and. I go to classic car shows every weekend, and this is one of the cleanest Mercuries I've seen, man. Hats off. <laughs> is that right? Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.
No, 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 how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's a glorious sunny day here in Roseburg, Oregon. Yeah, it's really nice and hot. <laughs> good thing the wind came up a little bit. I know, right? So what have we got here? Um, it's a 69 El Camino. Um, it's like a 350 small block. Still got the original engine and everything in it. Yeah. Still original paint job. It's got a lot of work that needs to be done, but this is the first year it's running great. So I'm cruising How long have you had it? Um, I've had it since I was in high school, so it's oh, since wow. I was a sophomore and I'm 30 now. Okay. My dad actually bought it for me as a joke. Uh, I was always complaining about not being able to get my quad in the back of my truck when I got to James. So, <laughs> so you actually, got that going on now. Yeah, so we actually bought this as a kind of a joke, but I love this car and it yeah. actually worked out great for me. I love years. it, so it sounds like you drive it a lot. Um, During the summer I do, but not so much during the winter. Okay. Just try to keep it as clean as possible, try to not get any more rust or any other issues. <laughs> and what is your name? Alicia. And where are you from, Alicia? Uh, originally Coos Bay, but I just moved to Roseburg about two, three years ago. All right. Well, thank you so much, Alicia. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Anywhere she gave me service with a oh, smile, service with a smile, and when she called me honey child, she gave me service with a smile. Well, I've been drinking so much coffee. Well, we saw this amazing ride, so we had to walk over. And what is your name? My name is Cody. Cody, where are you from? I am from Salinas, California. Okay. So what are you doing on the way up here? Well, pretty much every member of my family's moved up here now, and I was the last one to follow. Big car shows is kind of one of the reasons, because everybody in my family is a car guy, and yeah. I was the last one to follow suit. One of the last ones to get something old that we can bring down to cool shows like this, and here she is. Right, it's amazing. So tell us about it. Well, it's a 1962 Chevy Orver van, or a Greenbrier, depending on what you want to call it, but it's a rear engine van. Mm -hmm. um, there's a gentleman out in Myrtle Creek, Oregon, that's a Corvair collector, and I went out to see him in... Uh, He's got a collection of 60 different Corvairs. I did not know this. Yeah, so I went to look for a two-door Corvair to restore with my grandpa, and mm -hmm. uh, this one was hiding behind the one that I wanted to take <laughs> home, and I asked him to tell me a little bit more about it, and the more he told me about it, the more I wanted to take that home instead of the car. So <laughs> I did, and uh, bought it for $800, and it did not run, and a lot of stuff needed to be replaced, and now it has, and now she does. So what are you running in it? The motor from the 65 Corvair Monza in it, so it's 110 horsepower so instead still, of the... So still air-cooled? Yeah. Love yeah, it. so it's, okay. it's, uh, it's got all the same parts, basically, so if you shop for yeah. replacement parts, you can buy the same stuff. But yeah, it's uh, the vans usually come with the 80 to 85 horsepower motor, and this one's got the 110 in it, you know? Cool people like you stop by and ask <laughs> questions about it. And I, to be honest with you, the more I talk to people about it, the more I myself learn more about it. There's something I learn about it every day. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for stopping and checking it out. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing well. And what is your name? My name is Kevin Darowich. Kevin, and you said that you've seen our videos and we've never come down to interview you guys with the Corvettes, but I did point out that I interviewed the gentleman with that gold one down on the end a few years ago. Yeah, you but did. But not your gorgeous ride. So okay. tell us what you got here. Well, I've got a 1959 Corvette with a 283 dual 4s and a 4 speed. And it's one of 360 that were made in this combination of I, colors. It's, it is gorgeous. It has that James Bond kind of feel to it. It, You know, it does. <laughs> it does. So do you guys get to drive it very often? Uh, well, I bought it with 22,000 miles on it, and it's got 30 on it now. So okay. I've had it for nine years, so wow. I don't drive it a lot. So did it come in this condition? Oh, heavens no. Okay. What it looked like doing? it had leprosy when I brought it home. <laughs> it had bubbles all over it. It's been painted three times. Oh, wow. And uh, we finally got the final touches on it to get that squared away. And you were and you were cleaning off some uh, bird uh, yeah. presents from earlier, yes. trying to yes. keep that paint going. I appreciate yeah. it. So we don't change the color of the paint. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching our channel and let me look at your car today. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. 
Thank you. You're welcome. And thanks for showing off our Corvettes at this end of the town. <laughs> and you said you were having trouble getting this far down. I know. I know. This, is, this event goes for like a, all about yeah, a mile and a half, two miles that way. <laughs> yeah. By the time we get down here, we're like, I need lots of water. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing today? Doing good, thanks. So what is your name? My name is Dave Taylor. From Dave? Winston. Winston, all right. So what have we got here? It's a 1950 Packard. Oh, it is gorgeous. And it's been chopped uh, three and a half inches in the front and five inches in the back. Mm -hmm. It has a 327. Okay. With a let's see, Ford nine inch rear end and uh, overdrive transmission. Yeah, I love it. What about the interior? Is that original? No, that's been done. That's been done? Yeah. Well, I love this metallic brown. Yeah, that's a beauty. It is amazing. And then the scalloping back here, it's gorgeous. And I love the long doors on the Packard. Yeah, long heavy <laughs> doors. Well, thank you so much, man. Like I said, I saw it from across the way. I'm like, I got to find out who owns that sled. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I keep telling myself we're done for the day. <laughs> I keep running it off some cars. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Michelle. Michelle, it's a glorious sunny day here. Yes, it is. And where are you from? Glide. Glide. Oh, wow. I used to live in Glide as a kid. Did you? There you go. Yeah. Wow. And you've got this gorgeous Apache. You want to yeah. tell us about it? Well, it's a 1959. Yeah, just a good old truck on air ride. They built it in one day in Phoenix, Arizona. Wow. And there's quite a story behind that. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you had it? Eight years. About eight years yeah. since that, that fateful day. Yeah, that's when the, right. When the Apache yeah. came to life. Yep. Well, it makes sense, Apache in Arizona. I like it. Yep, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Well, did you guys pick the colors out? Nope, it's all stock. That's the paint it came with. Yep. Oh, God, it, yeah. is, it is stunning. Yeah. So what's its name? Gordo. Gordo. How yep. did you come up with that name? Well, they named it that before we got it, and it's actually on the, the doorstep in there. Oh, wow. And it has a Spanish meaning I'm not going to say. Oh no, <laughs> yes. oh no, Yeah. I love it, thank you. Thank you.